Details coming in from our Call 6 Investigates team after they revealed an auto dealership accused of tampering with odometers. Our story led police to raid the business in the past 36 hours. Call 6 Investigates' Rafael Sanchez joins us now with what new we've discovered today. Rafael? Erica and Todd, good evening. Just minutes ago, I spoke to a former employee of HG Auto Sales who says the business sold cars without having the titles. Tonight, the dealership at the focus of a growing investigation. Why would you change odometers? That, is it for the money? Is it to make more money? Is it to cheat people? HG Auto Sales accused of selling used cars with tampered odometers. Just four weeks ago, Hannah Hurt drove off in a 2004 Acura. She thought it had 109,000 miles. Looked in the car, it had really low miles. I was thinking, that's an older car, 2004 Acura TL, low miles. Why not? You know what I mean? Jackpot. I can... Right. You hit so, the big one. This I did. Is the... That changed after she found the original odometer in her trunk. Her car actually has more than 222,000 miles on it. Her mother reached out to Call 6 Investigates, upset with this situation and angry with dealership owner Ali Gaeda. I was talking to my friends down at the bank. They told me, they said, you know what, it's one person I could think of, Rafael Sanchez, he, he will do it. Our calls to state police led to the Regional Auto Theft Task Force to take action. Police seized records and computers, plus these odometers they believe were going to be used in the scheme. Under inspection right now, vehicles towed away because the mileage on the odometers did not match the paperwork. Investigators also recovered this gun from the office. An employee says it belongs to an unnamed customer. The case also being turned over to the state's Department of Revenue to look into evidence of tax evasion. There's also a big push to see if other dealers were connected and for how long. You've got hardworking people out there that are using their hardworking money that they've worked hard for to pay for this vehicle, and they're being defrauded out of that. And we as citizens and as a police agency want to try and make that right. That auto dealership on the city's south side will be closed for the next few days, possibly even weeks. So right now, if you're wondering, what do I do with my car payment? Uh, authorities say go ahead and make those payments while the investigation is going on. You don't want a mispayment to hurt your credit. Erica and Todd. So, Rafael, how would I know if an odometer has been changed? You know, that is a good question because as a regular consumer, how do we know? But you know what? Uh, electronics, mechanics, they do break down. It happens. If it does happen, state law requires that any notification be made here. You see this here? This is the passenger left door of your vehicle. It should be made right above the VIN. On my car here, here's the VIN number. So if the odometer were changed on my car, it should be right over here. You should, the state law requires the change and the date. That information should also be placed on the paperwork. In the case that we looked at, there was no disclosure whatsoever, a story that will continue to follow as the information develops. Erica and Todd.